YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, just going to be a quick review of two locomotives that I've just acquired to my fleet. Um, the one on the left is an SD40T-2, the one on the right is an SD60. Both of them are Kansas City Southern paint schemes in gray, and um, they are both Atherin locomotives. The one on the left uh, is a ready-to-run model, and then the one on the right is a kit-bashed blue box locomotive. Both of them are DC. Um, the ready to run is quick plug equipped and uh, my layout is DC as most of you know and they they run very well um, except for the blue box still needs uh, some tweaking. The gears are a little uh, gummed up and I lubed both of them up just you know because they are older locomotives. The ready to run model had been released in 2012 and so I guess it had been sitting on the shelf for about four years since it is 2016 so uh, that being said they are you know not like brand new but I mean very little run time on both of them um, like I said I lubed up the gears and they, they run a lot better than when I first put them on the layout um, the blue box one needed quite a bit of cleaning had to clean up the wheels because they were all gummed up not receiving like enough power from the tracks to it it was all jerky and had to clean out the brushes on the motor too and that seemed to help a little bit so but uh whoever built this locomotive did a decent job uh, besides the paint is not the same shade of gray as all the other Kansas City Southerns that I have but I mean that's a little more prototypical due to like whatever paint shop it would have came from from being repainted or what have you so and uh, a couple of the details um, whoever like I said owned it added some details like that antenna the see-through grills um, along with the radiator fans and stuff and those are see-through with uh, fans actually in them and uh, they also added number boards uh, and the fake you know lights with windshield wipers have also been added handrails have been painted mu cables um, also uh, like a little plow since you know this is mainly like a switching engine but um that's pretty much it on this one and then on the SD40, uh, it comes pretty much jam-packed with detail. It has, you know, the sun visors, um, conduit going up on the top, going to whatever that is, and also like a little, uh, I have no idea what you would call that. But anyways, has uh, the opening and closing windows on the side of the locomotive, as well as uh, like the see-through grills back there for like they did that uh, for like when the locomotives would go through tunnels due to uh, exhaust gases getting so hot and you know that way the locomotive can breathe fresher air and uh, you know the radiators can work more efficiently that way instead of getting clogged full of exhaust fumes and hot gases instead of fresh cold air so but it also has the snow plow on the front, as you can see, the camera won't really focus. But um, it has ditch lights too. Uh, they are not operable, either are the number boards, because this is a ready to run model. Um, the ditch lights seem to be hollow to where you can add LEDs if you would like to make them operable. But um, very smooth uh, running locomotive, it is not it's not the smoothest in DC, but I would assume in DCC it would be way better. But here's here's it with like a little bit of throttle and uh, it just like barely moves. Has a little bit of jerking to it, but also my track is a little bit dirty. So and yes, both locomotives are moving because it is DCC or DC. Sorry. So. That is uh, pretty much it of uh, the update of these. Um, 
plans for these, they are going to get weathered to be uh, like the prototypes. I found a couple of pictures on Google. There's a website that shows every single locomotive with multiple pictures of uh, the Kansas City fleet. So, um, found a pretty good uh, pictures of the prototypes and stuff. And surprisingly, these locomotives are actually pretty clean, not too dirty, just a little bit of like rust and grime on the trucks and fuel tanks, you know. Um, but as far as like the paint goes, like no rust, no fades, nothing. So, I'm just gonna lightly weather these and make them seem a little bit more realistic and uh yeah so that's pretty much it um also uh, i don't know if i mentioned earlier i plan on taking the chassis off of this blue box uh sd60 and replacing it with a genesis chassis and motor that way it runs much better and then eventually convert all these locomotives to dcc so Change is coming soon, but uh, hope you enjoyed and hope this helped out a few of you um, wanting to, you know, just get an insight on what these locomotives are like. And there aren't too many reviews on Kansas City Southern locomotives on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, comment, subscribe, like the video, do what you gotta do. Thank you for watching.